When I asked uh, Steve a minute ago about um, your shooting and how, you know, through nine games, you're kind of making a joke at the three-point line. Uh, I think it's 53%, which is crazy. But he said there are a lot of factors that you feel stronger, look stronger, your routine's good. Uh, and he thinks that maybe even uh, the help you're getting from Steve Nash and Celebrini, these are all factors maybe. What, how do you account for what's going on right now? I mean, yeah, I put a lot of work in and got a lot of input from a lot of different people um, over the summer throughout the preseason. But it, um, it's just about having confidence and putting the work in, um, the reps, and feeling comfortable out there. So uh, I've always said I want to continue to try to improve my shooting and get more efficient. Um, obviously, a good start to that, but got to sustain it and stick to the program of what I've been doing. And uh, yeah, it's not just me. Obviously, I do have a, a good team around me on and off the court um, that kind of get me in the right frame of mind and get my body right too. Hey, Steph, what do you think has been key for Draymond to have the kind of impact he had tonight, and as well as just early in the season, considering he missed some preseason games? Um, he didn't change his name, and he's still Draymond Green and number twenty-three for the Warriors. And you never worry about him finding a way to impact the game. If he's making or missing shots, whatever, he always gets timely stops. He's talking, emotional leader. So um, just like it was with Clay shooting the basketball, you never worry about Draymond getting implemented into that all-around game that helps us get wins. So um, it's great to see him with a little pep in his step and a little juice and excitement out there and playing well. And follow up on the earlier question. Nobody's ever shot 50% from three with a high volume of shots. Do you allow yourself to go to that possibility even? No, nah, just like the seasons where I, I'm in the high 30s or whatever, or wherever I'm at, and I get that question about the 40% streak or whatever, never really get too high or low. Just over 82, I'm going to keep shooting, and whatever it is at the end, tally it up. But, um, again, it's about the – perspective of every night I'm out there trying to take the shots that I feel like I can make and you know again have confidence and just just make shots is is Jarebko a different player than you envisioned when you guys signed him no he's exactly what I envisioned in terms of being a a floor spacer in terms of knocking down threes um being you know tough and physical setting great screens uh, he's got a high IQ in terms of how we flow on offensive end. And obviously it takes a little bit of transition time to understand the full kind of, you know, timing and, and flow of how we get our shots and how we play. Um, but obviously the last four or five games he's been he's been amazing. So, you know, he, we were going to call on him early in the year, try to get him acclimated, and um, he looks good out there for sure. Steph, along those lines with Jarepko, but the rest of the second unit with Andre and McKinney and Looney, what kind of identity do you think you guys have gotten with your reserves? I think they're just they're scrappy. And, um, you know, mo like most of our second units that we've had to start the second and fourth quarter of, you know, years past, it's all about the, the defensive identity for sure to start um, – Having the versatility to be able to switch a lot of screen and rolls or whatever the case is and rebound the basketball at a high level. Um, might not play as fast up and down, but still be able to create good shots, get clay open when they need to, uh, but everybody be a threat out there. So, you know, this first half of the season until DeMarcus gets back, it's going to be important for them to establish, continue to establish that identity. Um, and then when he when Demarcus gets back, it could change a little bit in terms of playing through him, or whatever the case is. But defensively, they that's where uh, we create separation uh, with that lineup out there, and um, it's only going to continue to get better. Happy, Clay. You got to come up here and get some questions. <laughs>